Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, hope you are all fit and well. Back again with a light-hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So, let's jump in and see what we have. First story, another tragic boat crash in Phuket. Story 2, Laos and Russia holds joint military exercises. Story 3, Thailand's new electronic visa on arrival. Story 4, Foreigner a lifesaver. In Lumpani Park, Bangkok. Story 5, Naked man falls to his death in Thailand. Story 6, Thailand plans to build world's biggest floating solar farm. Story 7, Thailand deporting family of Rakhine insurgent leader. But first up, another tragic boat crash off Phuket, Thailand's coast. Phuket, Thailand, one of the most popular visited places in Thailand. Unfortunately, another boating accident off its shores. The Royal Thai Navy continues searching off Phuket's east coast for an 18-year-old crew member, Kitapong Somanbut, who was thrown overboard during a collision between a tour boat and a luxury yacht off Koko Nook, an island off the coast of Phuket. The incident happened in the afternoon around 4pm, and searching for the young crew man continued into the night and early the next morning. The 49-year-old captain of the tour boat succumbed to his injuries from the collision. The luxury yacht called Stallion was skippered by 47-year-old Russian Alexander Gorbanov. The vessel suffered only slight damage in the collision. The captain was able to rescue 36 of the 46 tourists on board the tour boat and take them back to shore at the Ampore Grand Marina. Other injured tourists and the captain Surat a tour guide and some other crew members who were injured were taken to hospital. Captain Surat, the skipper of the tour boat, later succumbed to his injuries in hospital. Captain Surat was involved in another boating collision in 2014 off Koka Not that claimed the life of two South Koreans and injured 26 others. On that occasion, he was captain of Sea Star 29, carrying around 40 tourists returning from a day trip to the Maya Bay when it collided with a fishing vessel. He spent two years in prison over that incident, but upon release started skippering boats off Phuket again. Johnny Siam reporting. Lao and Russia to hold 2019 joint military exercises. During the exercises, contingents will share experiences and battle equipment in diverse conditions from forest, mountain, swamps and jungle. So let's have, you know, a round of applause for the boys having a little bit of fun. Johnny out. Tourist Authority of Thailand are saying three websites now provide electronic visas on arrival. What does this mean? Let's find out. Visitors now from some countries can now apply online for a visa on arrival. With the Tourist Authority of Thailand saying they've added, added a third website to the previous offering of two services. It is reported that now citizens of Bhutan, China, Taiwan, Ethiopia, Fiji, Georgia, India, Kyrgyzstan, Mexico, Nauru, New Guinea, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Uzbekistan and Vanuatu can now also apply through www.evisathailand.com with Bulgaria, Cyprus, Malta and Romania to be added to that list in the near future. 
It is hoped the electronic visa on arrival will reduce passenger processing time at immigration checkpoints at most international airports in Bangkok's Sawinapum Airport, Don Miang Airport and Phuket's International Airport, Chiang Mai's International Airport and Krabi's International Airport. So basically every international airport in Thailand, isn't that wonderful? Applicants will need to complete an online form and upload the required paperwork. Here we go. They will also need to provide their address in Thailand and have sufficient funds for their stay, which is defined as 10,000 Thai baht per person or 20,000 Thai baht per family. It is understood that the usual 2,000 baht visa fee is being waived between now and April the 30th, 2020. But applicants will still need to pay the processing fee levied by the website offering the service. This is currently 530 Thai baht, but will increase to 560 Thai baht from January the 1st, 2020. Once approved, applicants will be able to download a copy of their electronic e-visa before entering the kingdom. So if you're in Vanuatu, in the Pacific, and you know where Thailand is, you can get an electronic visa from www.evisathailand.com. So I am reporting Lampini Park, a Bangkok woman seeks a foreigner after life-saving CPR. She went to social media with a photograph and asked if anybody could identify the foreigner as she had a heart attack in Lampini Park and he gave her vital CPR which saved her life. Uh, the family wished to find this person and thank them for being a good Samaritan. That's a wonderful story. Johnny here. Johnny, so I am reporting. Bangkok, Shatterjuk District. A naked man has fallen from a 29-storey condo. Saturday morning, a body was found laying face down when police arrived. The man, believed to be in his 30s, with no identifying marks or nor ID. Footage was obtained from CCTV and it captured the man falling. Upon inspection of the building, the fire escape on the 20th floor was found to be open. Investigation is ongoing. Johnny out. Johnny am reporting. Thailand, Bangkok, Electricity Generation Authority plans to install floating solar arrays with a generation capacity of 778 megawatts on the Bumibul Dam in Tark Province. This is the first stage of the floating panel projects with another nine sites in consideration and it has an extra bonus. It also helps with lowering evaporation. Johnny out. Johnny Siam reporting. Thailand, Myanmar. Thailand delays deporting family of Rohingya insurgent leader. The arrest of the family has come under pressure from rights groups saying the family could be forced by back to Myanmar. A spokesman stated that right now we are in the investigation stage. Johnny out. <laughs> 